search for answers continues tonight as police search for the people responsible for killing six-year-old Anaya Allen. This as two other children, young children, 10-year-old Ladevian Garrett and 9-year-old Trinity Otson Smith also remain in the hospital tonight. The recent violence involving the shooting of children is all too familiar for the mother of one of the Twin Cities' other young murder victims. Three-year-old Terrell Mays Jr. died in 2011. He would be 13 years old today, and Leah Bino has more. It'll never be a time where I can say, oh, it done got easier for me. It hasn't. It's been nearly a decade since Marsha Mays lost her son. Three-year-old Terrell Mays Jr. shot and killed by a stray bullet while running up the stairs of his Colfax Avenue North home the day after Christmas. As the Twin Cities quickly learned, Terrell and his three siblings were following what mom had trained them to do, run to a safe place in a closet on the second floor whenever shots rang out in the neighborhood. Well, I heard gunshots. He was trying to come up the stairs, but the spaghetti was so good, and I couldn't resist it either. Boy, I tried to. I just didn't grab him because he, he was coming up the stairs and he just stopped. Mays quickly moved her surviving children out of North Minneapolis, put them into counseling, and has become an advocate against gun violence, while at the same time a $60,000 reward has gone untouched as her son's killer is yet to be found. It brings anger, it brings hate, it brings love, it brings mixed different feelings when you lose a child. Now, with two other young gunshot victims in the hospital and six-year-old Anaya killed, Mays is one of many mothers in a constant state of worry for her youngest son, Morell, now 11 years old, driving behind his bus this week just to make sure he made it safely to school. Because I'm so scared that one of those bullies... And because even when the family is smiling, without Terrell, there's forever a piece of their hearts missing. Every step we take, we're taking it for them babies. We're living for them babies, actually. Mays begs anyone with information about her son's case or any unsolved shooting case since then to come forward. She adds it's never too late to give loved ones closure. Back to you.